how's it going there? We're just taking a little bit of some notes here with our little pencil. I don't know how that looked, but hey, let me know. That, was, that wasn't so good on the return. But let's go ahead and put these back over here. We're just playing around with our with the big pencil. Um, I'll have to watch that back to see how that looked. So today we have the bicycle asteroids. <laughs> um, this is quite interesting uh, because they're asteroids. What's not to love? Space is fun. Let me get all situated for you here. Make sure things are cleaned up. Whenever you got this lighting in here, just kind of things are happening. Uh, let's see here. So just looking at the pack, let's get it opened real quick. I love when it has the quick and easy tab. That's really the fun part here. There we go. And as we've learned, we're just going to take that, put it right here in the pocket. Uh, we're not actually going to take off the rest of the plastic. We'll just leave that on there for now. And yeah, it can come right off. But let's take a closer look at the box. There's the two different asteroids there. Asteroid on the front. Top's got some shininess to it. This deck came out in 2019, which is fantastic. Air cushion finish made in the USA. Fantastic. So as always, we're going to try to preserve the seal if we can. Looks like we're going to do a pretty good job here. Fantastic. Oh, there it is. So we got that open. I like to just push the seal right down on there. Preserves it a little bit. And let's get the deck out. Very nice. Anything else going on? So the inside of the tuck case is plain. So here's what we're going to talk about here before we get into looking at the deck. Is a little bit at a time, we're going to, we're going to release some information for you guys. Because I know right now it's extremely popular. Pop, popular. Popular. <laughs> Words are eluding me today. Playing cards. Designing your own custom playing cards are a big deal right now. And so... What I do is I'm watching videos of people who are creating playing cards, but also people who review them, magicians and stuff, and just get little tidbits of what they prefer when they're looking at playing cards. So, and I look at what sells, because obviously, no matter how much somebody, I'm in sales, I work in sales, so no matter how much people say something, the numbers don't lie, usually, unless it's game stuff. Anyway. <laughs> uh, we won't get into that on this channel. Um, so we got a little ad card with no double back there. Or not double back, but no no asteroid back on them. So this is interesting. So they've got the black border, which really looks nice. I mean, especially if you consider just doing like a little bit of fan. Wow. So I didn't even notice this, but the front is actually black as well. Oh, man, this is exciting. So I'm learning as I go as far as like how these cards look, but... There's so much to say about these cards, so let me, wow, here, let me get them a little bit closer for you guys, just so you can see these. These are fantastic. So I'm not a big fan of, oh, look at that. Wow. So, you know, I'm not a big fan of having ink on both sides just because of, well, and to be honest, it's really what I've heard about how it affects the, the weight and things like that. Um, ooh. Nice little double backer there as well. I mean, there, what's not to love about this deck? So the Jokers are a little bit different in coloration, but you might not even notice that one's burning a little bit hotter than the other. But here's what I want to talk about as far as the back. So this one has a black border on the back, which really makes sense since the front is black as well. Wow. That feels nice, and it looks fantastic. I mean, this is <laughs> just, I love it when I open up a pack of cards and it's not what I expected and it's better than what I was anticipating. I love space themed stuff. Obviously I got the sunspots, um, but as far as the way that that looks, just let me know down below what you guys think about that black border and the way that it kind of just sings. To me, it just, it seems to like hum and vibrate a little bit. I absolutely love it. And then when you partner that with the front, I mean, look at this ace of spades. That is beautiful. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous ace of spades. A little bit of fire on there. 
And these face cards, man, they're just that flat look to them there. I love them. The diamond has a little bit of that roughness to it. And I like how these ones have a little bit of, they have the glow to them as well. So these details that you see in these things are phenomenal. So, you know, it's, it's just outlined with like the sun, basically. This is where the fire is coming from. A little heart there. Fantastic. I mean, and just, and just in general, like the way that they feel. There's a smoothness to them right out of the box. That's just great. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I definitely tell you, like, I love the crimson back that we just did there. But these, I mean, they feel great out of the box. Those had a little bit of a chunkiness to them. Wow. So the question is, you know, they feel great to me. What could I use them for? Uh, yeah, I definitely think that you could use these for everything. They don't have the, uh, the circle in the center that I like for spin moves. I don't, I'm not sure why that I gravitate towards that kind of thing, but so it looks fantastic. It feels great. I don't think there's really Now, like I said before, I'm not big into the whole smelling the new cards thing, but I wanted to know whether or not there was residual from all the extra ink. So that's really the question. Um, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they do feel a little heavier. Like, just, just in consideration, it's the same size as a normal deck. It doesn't take away from it, in my opinion. But it remains to be seen when it gets wore down if the sides are going to start to look beat up. Um, especially if you're doing like a pharaoh shuffle. Let's get a close up on the camera that way you guys can see what that looks like. Nice. So, what a fantastic set of cards. I think very interesting. You I think you can you can usually tell like if I'm looking at a, a deck of cards I don't want to say anything bad, but obviously if I say it's low quality, that's one thing. But when I really love something, I spend more time just kind of playing around with it and actually mixing the cards up. You know, I think that's, you know, I like the idea of the Crimson Max just because they're shiny, but there's nothing really all that different from them. But these... Nice. Just mixing them up. I love them. I mean, that's. <laughs> I think just just in general, just to, just to say something about them. That's like, would I use them every day? Um, probably not. I mean, I I wouldn't say that I wouldn't. Like, I have tier one, two, and three. Tier three again is, it's on the shelf, and I'll use them here in the studio. Uh, tier two is something that I like that I might do more wood than something else. And that's if I don't have a tier one on hand. A tier one is something that I would pretty much pick up and play with every single day. And to be honest, this is what I've been carrying a lot lately. <laughs> that gray color just speaks to me, I love it. So yeah, I mean, what can you do with them? What kind of tricks could you do with them? Uh, anything really i don't i don't think there's really anything that you couldn't that i wouldn't do um in terms of just looking at them i probably wouldn't use them at night that probably would be where i would try to avoid using them um i just don't know what they would look like uh at nighttime i feel like i like the sunspots because they almost radiate this kind of glow to them which i really love mm. man these are nice 
So there we have the bicycle asteroids on a rating scale of 1 to 10. I put them in an 8 because of how much they surprised me with how much I love them. So, hope you guys enjoyed the bicycle astro, ast asteroid, astro. <laughs> ah, wow. Maybe I should go back to sleep today. Here we go. Let's put this away. Oh, see, gotta love the ad card. This is this is what you do with the ad card, right? Fantastic. Okay, so away with you. Away with you. <laughs> hope you enjoyed, and remember, stay positive. Stay active and stay awesome. And until next time, chowder. Boop.